Nebraska's winter wheat crop was rated 40% good or excellent in the latest USDA state report, but there are problems now popping up in some of the state's fields. UNL Extension plant pathologist Stephen Wagulo joined us Thursday at the Havelock Fields on the northeast side of Lincoln. Stephen says fusarium head blight and rust could be issues, but we started by looking at the prevalence of bacterial leaf streak. We have seen it uh, at mid, uh, mostly in the University of Nebraska research plots and here in Lincoln. And in those two locations, it's quite widespread. I have not seen it so much in, in growers' fields, but uh, you know, some of it, we are likely to see some of it in, in growers' fields, but it's not, it tends to occur uh, most uh, of the time in breeder nurseries because they have lots of different susceptible uh, material there. In these areas, why has it flared up? Because of the rain, because of the cool weather before this week? Well, this disease is, is caused by a bacterium, and uh, this bacterium, can be activated in uh, cold temperatures. For example, frost conditions can trigger the bacterium and also rainfall can trigger the bacterium. So uh, the, the bacterium is seed born and it infects the uh, seedling during germination. And so it sits in the plant until conditions, environmental conditions are favorable and then it's triggered and it just starts going, but it's favored by, uh, the spread is favored by uh, blowing rain. Um, so it, it picks up the bacteria and, and, and blows it around. How hard is bacterial leaf streak to diagnose? It's uh, difficult uh, because um, it resembles septoria, which is a fungal disease. And we can control septoria by applying a fungicide but we cannot control bacterial uh, leaf streak by applying a fungicide because it's a bacterium. So it's very important that we make a correct diagnosis and the best way to do it is to send a sample to the uh, plant and pest diagnostic clinic here in Lincoln and then we can make a positive identification. Is there management that producers can use next time when they plant wheat into those fields? Yes, yeah, because the bacterium is mostly seed borne, then uh, for the next uh, crop uh, use certified uh, pathogen free seed. That's the most effective way to control this bacterium. You cannot control it by applying a fungicide because it's not a fungus. Are you noticing any foliar diseases popping up? There have been foliar diseases. Uh, in terms of fungal diseases, we were on the dry side most of the spring and so these dis fungal diseases have just been very slow to develop and we, has, we have seen a little bit of tan spot and septoria, but not a lot. Uh, so for the most part, uh, wheat fields are clean as far as uh, foliar fungal diseases. And so, um, uh, but uh, just yesterday, we confirmed leaf rust um, in, in South Central Nebraska. And it is just starting to develop, but we have had very little inoculum or, or spores uh, blow up from the southern states because that's where we, we get the, the rust from. So the risk for damaging levels of leaf rust uh, or stripe rust uh, is low because the inoculum from uh, southern states has just been re very little and uh, we have also been on the dry side. Fusarium head blight, is that a problem right now? Fusarium head blight ca uh, could be a problem depending on where you are. Uh, we had some heavy downpours uh, during the Memorial Day weekend and during that time wheat was just headed or, or, or flowering, starting to flower. That's the stage when wheat is susceptible to infection by Fusarium head blight. And so those areas that received heavy rainfall uh, during the Memorial Day weekend, uh, they should be on the lookout because the risk for Fusarium head blight could be high in those areas. And so right now what we are recommending is because you have now detected leaf rust and um, some of the foliar uh, fungal diseases like tan spot and septoria are you know maybe developing because of that rain we are recommending that uh, if you are in an area that had heavy rainfall you apply a fungicide that will target both fusarium head blight and leaf uh, diseases and there are two products that are effective on fusarium head blight Prosaro and Caramba. Any other fungicides, uh, they 
they would not be as effective on fusarium head blight as prosar or caramba. But these two fungicides are also very effective, uh, excellent on foliar fungal diseases. So they are the best choice to target both fusarium head blight and fungal uh, leaf diseases, uh, including rust.